let's talk today about Picton. They're an award-winning independent advisory firm and they believe in giving outstanding investment advice for Colombia, Peru and Chile. Now I mentioned that they're award winners which is absolutely right. Last year they were awarded the Fund Distribution Company of the Year Award in Latin America. I'm delighted to say that one of the founding partners, Matias Igiguren, joins me today. Lovely to meet you Matias. You're also the head of institutional fund distribution and we're going to be discussing the pension systems in the Andean region. Matias, lovely to see you. Great to meet you. Talk to me about Picton. What, what's the ethos behind the firm? Yeah, we're four partners, four founder partners. We're friends since uh, the school. And then um, I am former partner of Solfin, one of the largest investment bank in Chile. And um, we sold the company to BDG Bactual, one of the largest investment bank in Brazil. And I was invited to be part of the government. And um, it was nice because when I was uh, working at the government, one of my uh, exclusive mate uh, he went to see me to manage my my, 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 my stake at Selfin and and he he was a um, partner at La Rainbial, another of the largest business bank and, and we changed the conversation and we decided why not to do a, a complete different company uh, where we manage the money for the, the wealthy families and the, the non-profit institutions and the larger institutions uh, without any conflict of interest and um, we decide to, to, to create Picton. So is that what gets you out of bed in the morning, Matthias? Is it that drive to create something that's a bit different, maybe? Absolutely, absolutely, because uh, we were convinced that the, the way how uh, wealth management company do money uh, was not in the right way. And, and we saw that not having any conflict of interest, not having pros, and just advise family was uh, really in the high-end position uh, was the, 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 the right way to, to do money. And in the other case, the other business that we do that is distribute third-party funds to the pension funds, insurance companies, and single family office in Chile, Peru, and Colombia is a great opportunity because we see that the pension fund's performance is not doing well as it was in the past. And they need to sell liquidity to get better performance through alternative funds. And that's why we open uh, the eyes to the pension fund's CIOs and we start working with the largest uh, uh, GPs and, and we introduce them to the region and now we are working with many of them uh, doing a great job for them and also selling their pros to the pension funds, insurance and single family offices. So tell us about the services you provide because it's still a very exciting marketplace, isn't it? Even though things, as you say, have changed, it's still very exciting. Tell well, us about what you deliver. It is just the pension funds in Chile, Peru and Colombia manage over $250 billion. They have committed less than 2% of their assets in alternative investments. And if we assume that they will commit similar amount of money than the pension funds in Europe or in the US, they will commit between 10 to 15 percent. Uh, it's a potential business of 35 billion dollars. And if you see that no, no all the GPs have been in the region yet, there is a great opportunity for all the GPs that haven't gone and for the GPs that are already there. And that's why I'm here in London today and that's why I have been traveling in New York, in San Francisco, in Los Angeles, and in London, in Stockholm, uh, looking for the best pros and the best GPs to, 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 to offer them our services. Not like an, as, as a payment agent, more than that, advise them how to go into the market, uh, show them, uh, not just introduce them the, the clients, also to, to, to explain them the laws, uh, to provide them the service that we do in terms of create a local feeder fund that allow them to sell their products to the local pension funds and also to, 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 to create a good relationship between uh, the LPs and GPs. So tell us a little bit about the marketplace then, Matthias. How committed are people to pensions in, in the Andean region? Really, to, to, they are committed, um, but to be honest with you, they feel that the pension funds are like a tax, okay? They, they really don't feel that they're contributing for their pensions. And uh, 
uh, that's why when when they see that they, 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 when they retire and they don't receive enough money to for their pensions, they feel that the government is doing something wrong, and that's why that. I feel that we need some changes in, in, in our region. First, we need to contribute more. Second, I think women retire too, too early. They retire at 60 years old, and uh, my position is that they, sh they should retire at 65. And, uh, and, th and third, we have to educate people to, to save more and to depend on people to do that. Uh, the first two uh, measures are, are not very, very popular. And, and Latin America would tend to have more populist uh, governors, okay, and uh, are more popular presidents, and that's why uh, not easy to do that. Uh, but having said that, also uh, in the past we had very, very good performance, uh, since we, we we were coming from the highest uh, uh, rates and with a very very high uh, performance in the emerging markets. Now rates are very low and emerging markets are doing very poorly. Um, I think the, the, the other way to, to, to improve, uh, to improve the, the pensions to, to the people is to, is, to, is to add alternative investment to the funds and sell in liquidity and uh, include uh, private equity, uh, uh, private debt, infrastructure, timber, um, distressed debt and all the all kind of uh, alternative products that provide less liquidity but at the end of the day provide more more, more return. So aside of the cultural change uh, which you've alluded to, uh, what trends do you foresee for the future? I'm thinking some of the things you've mentioned in terms of the international alternative assets. What, what does the future look like there? First of all, I think that the practical departments are really green. They have invested in the large buyout firms like Blackstone, KKR, uh, Carlite, uh, TPE in the US and in, here in, in Europe, like CBC, like AQT, like Permira, all these big names. Now I see that they are, they are tending to go to the more mid-size spectrum and they are open their eyes to invest in private debt and, and next step will be infrastructure, will be uh, um, real estate and they will complete a private equity program in the next six to ten years to have at least 10 percent of their portfolios in private equity. What does the future look like then for Picton? Because right now you're operating in the Andean region. Could you see that area expanding in the years to come? For the moment we're very, we're very happy covering Chile, Peru and Colombia. We see that we have a lot of space covering these three countries. It's the same culture, the same language, the same law. Peru and Colombia have copied exactly the same law than Chile. That means that they follow Chile in the in the, in the pension fund system. For the moment, we feel comfortable covering these three countries. Brazil is a huge country uh, that has a different culture, different language, and different pension fund system. They, for the moment, they are not investing abroad, neither in private equity, neither in long only business. And Mexico is, is really a, a tough country to cover. Uh, I, I see Latin America like three countries, Mexico, Brazil, and the Andean countries. Uh, for the moment, I think we really add value in these three countries. In the future, we will see, but for the moment, we feel comfortable in these three countries. So, Matias, to finish, tell me what excites you about the future. When you look at the picture over the next, say, 18 months to two years, what gets you really excited? What do you think the potential is of the services that Picton can provide? We're so exciting because what we do is we, we find the best products, the best GP, and we invite them to discover a new region to expand their LP base. And they really feel happy when we show them a new region to, to, to expand their LP base. Really, I think there's a great opportunity for them. Uh, I see all the GPs covering almost all the world, and the only region where there is a demand that they have not been covering is Latin America. And that's why I, I think there's a great opportunity for all of them. They have to go there. Uh, Chile, Peru, and Colombia are very well-educated countries. Uh, they are really big pension funds, and uh, there's a great opportunity. That means I'm very optimistic and very excited about the, the short-term and the long-term future there. 
and I'm sure you can share that with me when we talk in two years. <laughs> you Absolutely. can tell me what your hopes are for the next two. Uh, Matthias Egegorn, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me.